Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little review over this bag right here, which is the Coach Alley Shoulder Bag 18 in the color taupe multi um, with brass hardware. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about this bag, um, show you the details and stuff and what fits in here and my thoughts at the very end. So if you're interested in this review, do stay tuned. And just a full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an SA. However, um, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, do consider liking and subscribing, because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, do consider liking and subscribing. So when it comes to the exterior details of the Alley Shoulder Bag 18, you'll notice that's like a pretty minimal style handbag. Um, there's really not a lot of details to this bag, but that's like the number one thing that I do enjoy about this bag is how minimal it looks. So on the front of the bag, you'll see that um, it is like a flap style closure with this really cool horse and carriage logo in the center there. Um, and it's like embedded in this leather piece here that is within um the clasp so i think that's pretty cool um so it's the horse and carriage detail in the front and then it's surrounded by um the chalk leather and this is what it looks like um for the clasp it's pretty like substantial and then another thing you'll notice too is that on the front of the bag um it is color blocked so the um like bottom section here is going to be chalk and then the top of the bag is going to be in taupe color and then when it comes to the back of the bag you'll see that there is like no like back pocket it's just going to be the taupe colored leather and it is just one piece as well so it is a uh, one piece of leather from the back to the front of the bag in um the taupe color and then on the sides of the bag and the bottom as well it is going to be in the same taupe color and it is tapered as well um, on the sides. So it creates kind of like an A shape because it's like wider at the bottom and tapers up to the top. And then what makes the alley bag super cool too is the way the strap system is set up. So on the top of the bag here, you'll notice that there are these two um, brass rectangles that the leather strap actually weaves through. And all you have to do is just um, pull it from like the middle to turn it into a shoulder bag so i think that's pretty cool um i usually carry it as a longer crossbody bag like this um so you do want to just carry it as a shoulder bag however again just pull it from the middle like so and there are adjustments on the strap too so you'll see that i believe that's like five adjustments right there and i just have mine in the middle setting and the little um, adjustment piece here, the buckle, is going to be in a like round oval shape. And then I forgot to mention about the hang tag too. Um, you'll see that is going to be um, taupe on both sides and it's just going to be in the same matching pebbled leather as the body of the bag. And then when getting inside the bag, all you have to do is just lift this little um, piece right here and the little like tab pops up. Um, on the inside, you'll see that it does have like a square piece of hardware for the base of the clasp and then on the clasp itself it just says coach down there and then you'll also notice too on the inside it has like three little um kind of like prongs to keep this little nub in place so every time you close it um it stays shut and then um when you want to open it it just releases by pulling up so there's that on the inside of the bag, you'll notice too, that is, again, a pretty simple layout. So all you have in the front is just a slip pocket. That's a pretty decent size for this bag. Um, and then you'll have the main compartment of the bag, which just features one slip pocket in the back. And back here, I don't really have a lot. I just have um, the care instruction and the price tag of the bag. And then um, the, let's see, the story patch um, to the bag um, is also embossed on that pocket too. So it is pretty small. You'll see that there's like some text on the pocket. So it's like a little slip pocket and also the story patch um, to this bag. And the inside is just lined in like a burgundy oxblood leather liner. And then on the underneath like part of the flap, you'll notice too, the hardware to the top is like screwed on through that. 
So yeah, that's basically the inside of the bag. And I will now go ahead and show you guys everything I'm able to fit inside of the Alley Shoulder Bag 18. When it comes to like items in the Alley Shoulder Bag 18, um, you'll notice that's a pretty small bag, so I don't fit a ton of stuff in there. Um, so I do have to edit down a bit, but the main two SLGs I use are going to be my Coach um, Medium Skinny and also my card case as well. These are the only two SLGs I use in this bag because they are pretty slim in profile, so... If I have them like back to back like this, it just fits nicely in there. Um, or I can have one in the front pocket and one in the main compartment of the bag. So these are the only two SLGs that I'll use um, in this bag. And next I have a little bottle of Germex that sits pretty comfortably on the inside. And then also a small um, thing of chapstick, which I probably need to use because um, my lips are pretty crusty today. <laughs> honestly. Okay, and the last two items are going to be my keys and also my little face mask. And this is like the cute like little coach face mask. And I have um, the unicorn one. Okay, so here's like a quick um, look inside of the bag. So I have my little card case in the front right there. And then in the main compartment of the bag, I have my um, medium skinny and Germex chapstick, uh, my mask and keys. And this will pretty much be everything I carry in my bag. Um, I do have like my phone, which I'm using to film, but uh, my phone case will also fit in here as well. And I just have a really thin phone case, but if you wanted to um, have your phone in here, you definitely can. But for me personally, I just usually have my phone like in my hand. So I don't often have it in here, but even with the phone case, it does close nicely as well um it is a little distorted i'm not gonna lie so i probably wouldn't have my phone case in here but without the phone case it does um you know look fine to me so um there's that and now i'm going to show you guys um a quick way to like style this bag too because you can add on a bag strap to this bag and i'll show you that so when it comes to styling this bag, um, it is a little bit tricky just because these are pretty like unconventional um, pieces of hardware for a purse. You know, it's not like a traditional like metal loop or like a D-ring. Um, so what you want to go ahead and do is just take off the leather strap, which I've done here. So I took off the leather strap to the alley shoulder bag. And when it comes to like the bag strap itself, um, this is just the one from Coach. So I just have the signature canvas one. And most of the bag straps, if not all of them, um, for the women's collection kind of looks like this. So it just has the little clip here and then the buckle on the end. And what you want to do is undo the buckle to get this little piece of hardware out. And that's what I've done here is I completely undid the end of the bag strap, got the little clasp out and just have the leather here. And then I will show you guys how you guys can put this on the bag. Okay, so all you have to do now is um, take the little leather end here and put it through the D-ring hardware. So you like weave it through and then you just um, re-buckle it back through the strap like so. So then you just do that and then you put it through that and then you just buckle it. I can do it. Alright. And then you put the leather end through. So then you have um, attached onto uh, like attach the bag strap onto the bag. So here is what it looks like with the bag strap on and it is a really good like shoulder bag like this but i also like it too as a higher crossbody so um I, i'm wearing it with like this chunky sweater but as you can see like the higher crossbody look i think it looks kind of cool um with it so yeah that's it that's how you attach on a different bag strap to this bag so my final thoughts on the alley shoulder bag 18 is that i do like this bag a lot um, I think the number one reason I've been really enjoying using this bag is just because it is a really easy bag to style and it's also a super minimal bag as well. Um, like I said earlier in the review, there is really nothing um, super decorative about this bag. It's just um, color blocked really and there's not even a ton of hardware on this bag too. It's just um, like the clasp itself. So that is something I really do enjoy about this bag is that if you are somebody who is, you know, more under the radar, um, this bag is really good for that. Um, 
like because there's really like nothing like there's nothing to this bag like it's very minimal and simple um it just focuses really on the leather of the bag and also the overall design as well so you want minimal appearance great design this bag's got it so that's like the number one thing i love about this bag that i like about this bag is the interior like layout so because this is a smaller size bag um I like that they just gave you one large compartment in like the body of the bag and then a little slip compartment here as well. So it's not like too crazy where there's like an extra zip pocket in the center or something. I just like that it is just one large open space for this one. Um, so you are able to maximize your space and fit a lot more items in here. So yeah, love that. That does it for a Chase review over the Alley Shoulder Bag 18. Um, hopefully you guys um, liked this video and found it helpful if you were thinking about getting this bag. If you have any other additional questions, just message me on Instagram or you can leave a comment down here too um, if you have any more questions. And then um, hopefully you guys liked this video enough to like and subscribe. Um, other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!